Ignore what she says. Watch what she does. She will lie to you. Hello lovely people, my name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you are new. This will be a weird one to start on. <laughs> Today we are going to take a look at some comments. I want to preface this video by saying a couple of things. First and most importantly is the majority of comments I get on this channel are super lovely. They're really informative. People share stories, useful information. People really make me laugh. There's a lot of insightful, brilliant stuff. That is the majority. Much like my other videos about comments on the internet or dating apps, I share the stupid ones because they're funny. The way I kind of process destructive negativity is just by laughing at it and I just well, I want to share that with you. So this is in no way me having a moan, this is not me saying my comments are mean because they're not, my comments are wonderful. These are just the silly ones that are fun to laugh at together. Do not worry about me, I am absolutely fine. If I'm sharing comments with you it means that I've already processed and it just doesn't bother me. Promise. So I've kind of, I've loosely split these into categories. Because I am an outspoken feminist on the internet, the majority of them are sort of sexist in nature, so that if you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff, that's a little warning for you. So I'm just going to jump through and share some silly comments with you and hopefully we can all have a little chuckle. There are a lot of really funny comments on my channel that aren't negative, that are just funny. They tend to require context to really understand, like because they're based on something in the video or something, so that's why I don't have so many of those to share because I don't want to have to explain every video I've done to be able to make a joke work. It will ruin it, you know, understand. Let's just start with some weird stuff. I'm just gonna pick out some things and we're just gonna go. I might have responses for a couple of them, a lot of them I'm probably just gonna rattle off because they're fun. If you ever see a comment like this first one that I'm gonna share, where somebody says the least favourite thing about me, I did a video where I specifically said, tell me your least favourite thing about me in the video, so they're not going out of their way to be cruel. Just like, don't rip into these people because I asked for it. <laughs> First video from you I watched already, my least favourite thing is your British. My British what? You have it. The crazy eyes. I saw your eyebrows and it reminded me to plug in my phone. Thanks. Giants and witches are real. That's it, that's the whole comment. What you don't get is that nobody cares about the people who are doing witchcraft. Please watch videos from people who have had gender surgery and now detransitioning again, or people who have played with witchcraft and later found back to God. This comment is by Han Solo. <laughs> is anyone else ooh, ooh for Emma Thorne destroying incels? Is anyone else ooh, ooh for Emma Thorne demolishing MLMs? Gender is not a social construct. If that was the case, then why does OnlyFans exist? Explain that to me, thanks. I, d I don't understand the question. The thumbnail alone shows a jealous hater. Does it? Why do you make those hand signs? I see Satanists using the same A-OK -okay hand signs and they mean 666 the mark of Satan, did you know that? Look up satanic hand signs and you'll see the same signs she's doing and so many others do the same thing. Son of Adam Bless. I have a whole playlist exposing female nature and showing how horrible you are. Feel free to try and debunk anything in there if you can. Wahahaha. <laughs> God's child says, D's nuts. As a proud, naturally born woman, I'm sick and tired of labels, of people wearing them and dishing them out. Also, I'm annoyed that YouTube thinks this is a channel that would interest me. Ew. Yeah, YouTube is sending transphobes to my channel? How do you think I feel? A woman's emotions are her reality. An ocelot salad bowl is its undoing. This is fun. What are we doing? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, for the blood of Jesus is against you. Satanists shall be burned. Question. Were you born naturally female or male? If you are faking being a gender you naturally never will be and were not born as, then honestly, you need a reality check and should embrace the gender you were born as. God bless. This is on a five-year-old video of a Pasheen unboxing. Uh, hang on, I need to take a drink before I do this one. Hey guys. The gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ our saviour which God commissioned all of us to share with others. One of the main reasons we are here is to seek a loving reconciled relationship with God our creator in heaven who wrote the holy bible to us by accepting his only begotten Je son Jesus Christ our saviour. Always be thankful for Jesus, God is the father, the son, Jesus Christ and the holy spirit all at once always. He is the one true eternal living God who will create. Come as you are sins and all and accept Jesus as your saviour he will change you from the inside and out then become a follower of our lord and saviour Jesus Christ. Wow. It's almost as if being exposed to certain themes in video games and etc. can lead a person down a path of sin. Hmm, no, that would make too much logic for simpletons like you. <laughs> Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Repent before it's too late. God is real if he isn't, who made reality then? <coughs> God of the caps fallacy. <coughs> wow, I can't believe how transparent your gender is. 
I assumed you were going to be stereotypically just by your video's title. But you literally act like all women who say they aren't the same. Us bloody women always saying the same thing about how women are people. I can't believe we all share the same lies. There can be no other explanation. Being actually nice will get you called homosexual and assaulted by females. Another classic one is, you're too nice to be my boyfriend because you almost always say yes to me. Wouldn't expect someone sexist enough to actually self-identify as a feminist to understand. That is exactly how women speak. I must remember to call my boyfriend a homosexual the next time he brings me coffee in bed. I've clearly been womaning wrong. Your generation of women are so lost, 50%, 50% to you are going to be single for a very, very long time. Cats will save them from loneliness. Women's rights was a mistake, says. There was a valid reason for witch hunts. Degenerate fee-fails are modern day witches. Men were also charged with being witches. She's a feminist, so she hates men. I was curious how a feminist looks like. Came here to see one. I was expecting a hairy pits fat angry woman. Guess him wrong. Oh, and here's another crazy fact all them good men that you women have turned down there just gonna leave you in a block of flats to rot enjoy your life. I don't know why he specifies a block of flats. My comments are so full of women being like, it's not true. I married a nice, my husband is a nice man, I'm with a nice man. And I'm like, yeah, me too, I'm with a nice man. It's like, all those nice men you turned down. The worst thing in life is to be left in a block of flats. <laughs> Has got a point. Most women pick bad men in their prime, aka their twentus. Then the good men slash nice guys get the leftover single mums in their thirtytus. Feminism ends once the lights stop working. Good luck. I don't really know what this means. Is the assumption that women don't pay the bills? The feminist who doesn't want to be a sex object up in here wearing a low-cut top. Seems legit. I did reply to this comment with something along the lines of breaking news, you can't call yourself a feminist if you wear a vest in the summer. Incidentally, there was nothing said about objectification or being a sex object in the video. This is clearly a troll who saw the word feminism in the title and came to be like, why? <laughs> but you have breasts. So checkmate. His reply to that was, lol, sure. It's about keeping cool. How come men aren't running around in low cut tops in the summer then? Dipshit. Men do wear vests. You literally see them walking around shirtless in the summer. This is clown town. The older you get, the lower your value. I assume they're talking about cars. Lived in Newcastle for six months. My British roommates exclusively dated Eastern European girls. There's no self-awareness in Western girls. They don't know or have no interest in becoming better for their men. It's all me, me, me. Why is this 12 year old boy trying to lecture anyone? We truly live in crazy times. You can tell she's got some problems upstairs. A little slow. It would explain why she cares about such a petty topic so much. Thinks she's all special because she has a 12 year old boy's church haircut and some round glasses. Lmao. It's a running theme here. I don't know that I've ever considered myself special because I bought round glasses. <laughs> nice guys definitely do finish last. You would be a nightmare. Disagreeable, masculine, and combative. No hymen, no diamond. Spread the word. Girls, to avoid all these problems, just keep your virginity. And it never ceases to amaze me how many of these men are so open to telling everyone on a public forum on the internet that they don't know how women's bodies work. You don't know anything about male nature. Have a good divorce in a few more years. I'm not married. I always know when my girlfriend is on the blob, she is more argumentative than normal. On the blob. God's child returns. So you're saying you're not extra emotional. You're, wrong you're, just selfish with your pair bonding choices. Pair bonding choices. Because everybody knows all men are exclusively thinking of the greater good when they date. It's so funny to see her reaction to everything. It's as if immediately she has to say, no, 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 we are not like that. Even though, yes, you are. This is a reaction video, guys. Remember that. It's so crazy that I react to everything in my reaction videos. I'm such a card. I'm just wild, aren't I? I'm all over the fucking shop. Ignore what she says. Watch what she does. She will lie to you. Such a sad conspiracy to spread to young men. <laughs> like, women are all gonna lie to you. Be deeply suspicious of everyone your whole life. Short hair women. I didn't even waste time watching the video. I know what she's going to say. Didn't saw all of it. 
But you're practically doing the same, lol. A woman teaching men how to be alpha males. Teaching men how to be alpha males? By asking them to treat women as people? Just say no to thoughts, says. If you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to fear. Only thoughts and thought accessories could have a problem with this. What is a thought accessory? <laughs> this person said, can I shove my tongue down your throat? But don't worry, they updated it to say, can I shove my tongue down your throat, please? You've got to be polite if you're going to ask. This next comment is the longest comment I've ever got. You can go and read it if you like. I recommend not, because these people really want the attention. The best way to deal with a slightly misogynistic comment that is unbelievably long and demands a lot of attention from you is to simply reply with this. Why is this boy talking about things he doesn't understand? Feminism is cancer, said. I wish the men in your life all the best. Thank you, I will pass that on. Women. We aren't the same, aren't a hive mind. We're all unique. Also women. All men are pigs. All men rape. All men are dogs. Just gonna leave this here. Thank you, feminism. Women are all the same, man says, using example statements I've never said. She has made commentary on a bunch of useless bro science. Yet, if you want to catch a fish, you go to the fisherman and not the fish. Women aren't fish. Fish can't talk. Fish aren't capable of higher thought. They can't communicate. Women can. <laughs> so what the lady said is as irrelevant as far from average and the dumb stuff they spit out. I was quite pleased with her cleavage though. On the plus side, as people pointed out to me afterwards, being a fish with cleavage basically makes you a mermaid. You make me sad. You also make me chuckle quite a bit, so I will let it slide. For now. But then you said much more lickly. So now we have a problem, lady. Does feminism teach proper pronunciation? Yes, I am fairly certain it does. Therefore, you are not a feminist. Preach your freedom elsewhere. Therefore. These next few comments are all specifically in response to a video titled Am I a High Quality Woman that was a reaction to a red pill video. So bear that in mind, Am I a High Quality Woman was the title. No, no, answer. No, unfortunately. Nope, you are not. No, you are not. We will laugh when you get to the epiphany phase. Not quite a high quality woman, but I'd still tap it. Ha ha ha, you aren't a high quality woman. Any feminist too masculine is instant red flags. Stay away. 49er. Average at best. Like minor 49er, the Scooby-Doo villain? No, Karen, you aren't. But you're more valuable than other women, among like-minded women like yourself, if you're fully European white. But thank you for telling me, because I didn't know that I thought that. You have a Karen haircut, so... No, you aren't. Let's end with a quick fire round, just for funsies. You're attractive. Fuck you, ugly bitch. What's up, female? Does the frog can grow up? This chick has so much to learn. Stop buying cigarettes and coffee. Lay off the caffeine. Never! Transgender. Loud and wrong. Are you from Australia? Delete this channel. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I accidentally clicked this. To end, I just want to throw out a couple of comments that are not dissing me, just for the sake of showing you that there are some genuinely very funny people and intelligent people leaving comments as well as all of the people I just showcased. This was on one of the Red Pill videos where they discussed qualifications in terms of dating women. When he has no personality, but you have to date him because he has four A-levels. This was on a video about a quite sexist and religious man. Adam and the women, new lesbian punk band, let's make it happen. This was actually on Twitter, but it's about the red pill videos that I made. The red pill is obviously a laxative. As soon as you take it, nothing but shit comes out. Oh, what a burn. So there you go. That is a selection of the weird and wonderful comments that I get on this YouTube channel. Like I say, this is all in good fun. If you're gonna take anything away from this, please just remember that the majority of comments I get are so lovely. People tend to disagree with me in really interesting and considerate ways that help me learn new things. It is, the majority of this channel is really, really positive. I'm just making fun of the rest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like it if you did, share it with your friends, subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. If you would like to hear more silliness from me, you can follow me on my gaming channel. You can follow me on Twitch where I'm live two to three times a week. As always, I would like to give a huge shout out to my giant chickens over on Patreon. I nearly got confused and said my giant patrons over on chicken. It'd be very weird if my patrons were all giant 
giant and also if they were on chickens a whole different thing let's just move on amber <laughs> chick-fil-a death fries conla chicken maximus lions god damn it conla lucy lamprell manny miss bunburyist mr creosote taxman and vernon stubbs you guys are amazing thank you everyone for watching and supporting me leave your thoughts and comments down below have a very lovely week and i will see you really soon